everybody welcome back to a vlog um, I'm actually in a hotel room in Colorado for Brian's first ever bodybuilding competition and at the moment he is downstairs in line for check-in and I actually had to run back up here he made me stand with him in line for check-in um, but I had to run back up here because I actually need to go and get my mom from the airport because she is flying in for his show my dad is coming to his show and then his parents are also coming to his show so it's gonna be a family affair we are very excited he is very excited he's very proud of himself I'm extremely proud of him so I wanted to kind of like vlog this I'm not entirely sure how long or what this vlog is really gonna look like but I'm hoping that it's it's a good one <laughs> so anyways I need to run Go and get my mom, bring Brian a room key, all that kind of stuff. So I will check in with you guys in a little while. Good morning, everybody. It is now Saturday, the 14th, AKA show day. Um, I did check in with Brian a little bit this morning for you guys, so I will insert that here for you. All right, everybody, it's show day. There's Brian. Showtime. Are buddy. you excited? I am excited. And I'm currently looking at Rice Krispie calories. So. Rice Krispie calories? Just to see if I can have two instead of one. <laughs> so we'll see. What are you most excited for? Most of the showcase that hard work that I put in for. Yeah, because you've been training for seven months pretty much. Yeah, but previously that I've been training for quite Years. some time. So yeah. it's really going to show the effort that I put into it. Yeah. Like strict dieting, you know, in preparation for the show. It's been seven months and a half, so. Yeah. I feel like we should be good to go. Yep. So. And you are doing bodybuilding and classic physique. Yes. So you'll be on, on stage two times. You have two different posing routines. Two different posing routines. Two different suits that you have to wear. Twice the work. Yep. So. You've gotten how many coats of tan? Three or four? Three. Three coats of tan. He is the darkest I have ever seen him in my whole entire life. <laughs> That's pretty good though. Yeah. Yeah. Are you proud of what you're bringing? Yes, most definitely. That's the most important thing. And All right. pancakes and breakfast afterwards or whatever type of food. Whatever type of food you want, we'll go and get after your show today. Yes. Yay. I'm excited. <laughs> All right. Everybody wish Brian luck. Thanks, guys. He's excited. <laughs> so, as you guys can see, he's pretty excited. He is feeling really ready. He had just gotten his third coat of tan when I talked to him, um, at least on camera for you guys. And he is actually down at an athlete meeting right now. And I am actually on my way down there. Um, I just finished getting ready, doing my hair, makeup, all that. Getting dressed and yeah. So I am actually on my way down there right now. Um, I have his other food that he is probably going to need throughout the day. And then also um, just like my purse and stuff um, and then I'm going to pre-judging at 9 for him so I am very nervous I'm very tired um, but I think it's gonna be a good day he feels really good he feels really ready so that's the most important thing but anywho I'm going to head downstairs and go to pre-judging and uh, we'll see what else I can film for you guys I can't film inside the competition I don't think so I might have to film some stuff on my phone and then insert it for you guys, but yeah, we will see. So let's go downstairs. <laughs>
set of 33 and 35. Top five coming at you. Meet him again, we got 31, 37, 8, 33, and 35. There we go. Bring it to number eight, Brian Robles. Yellow! And we're down to two second place, your runner up, number 33, Dan Hernandez. Woo! And that makes him in class, it can be two novice, the B class, champion 35, Connor King. Woo! Double up! Right on, guys. Favorite shot for the cameras down in front. Make it a good one and smile. Give it up for these guys. several days later now. Um, I apologize for the very yellow looking situation, but I'm wearing a yellow shirt and yellow sweatpants. My little light is the only one that I'm using over here. This is just the vibe we're going with today. It is a very gloomy day outside, so I can't even use like natural light. Um, anyways, hi. I wanted to close out this vlog because I have, you know, several clips from Saturday one clip from Friday um, for Brian's competition weekend. And I just kind of wanted to recap you guys on everything that went on. So um, it is now Thursday, August 19th. So it is about five days later. And overall, Brian is extremely proud of himself. Very happy with the results that he got. Um, I didn't film anything at pre-judging because pre-judging is kind of, it's more like subdued. It's not nearly as like audience excitement as finals are, which is where both of my parents and Brian's parents were at with me in the audience. Um, I was the only one that went to pre-judging and from pre-judging, if you guys have never been to a bodybuilding show or competed in a bodybuilding show, um, with pre-judging you can kind of gauge where you're going to be at based on how they call you out. Um, it's called first call outs. And if let's say you have, you know, 15 guys in this particular class um, and they call out, you know, competitor number one, two, three, four, and five first, that's called first call outs. And those are probably going to be your top five in that class and Brian got first call outs for a uh, bodybuilding novice, which means that he's never placed first. And that was very exciting. So we knew that he was going to be in the top five. Um, he also competed in bodybuilding, bodybuilding open class B, which is basically just like based on the weight and height of the competitor. Um, and in that class, I wanna say there were probably like 15 to 20 guys, most of which were national level competitors, and they've been doing this for years. And a lot of them were going to nationals, so they were much more experienced on stage, much more conditioned than Brian was. And so it's not surprising that in the open bodybuilding class, he didn't place at all. Um, Brian kind of knew that going into it, and his coach also kind of knew that going into it, but Brian was so unbelievably proud of himself for placing fifth in bodybuilding novice. So again, that means that he's never placed first, of course, because he's never been on stage before. Um, classic physique was much more a mystery to me. So I didn't know that he was gonna be in the top five for classic physique true novice, which means that you've never competed before. Again, he's extremely proud of himself for that. And we weren't expecting it, to be honest. So that's extremely exciting. Um, the only reason why he didn't place better is probably because of his conditioning. Um, his coach basically told him that he has the size, like he's huge, he's a big dude. Um, he just needs to get a little bit more water and a little bit more fat out of his skin, which I'm sure like looking at him, you're probably like, 
wear. <laughs> um, and I, I do too, but I also see it from a competing standpoint. And he does need to lose a lot more water and a lot more fat for the next time he gets on stage. Um, but overall, placing fifth in novice bodybuilding and placing third in true novice classic is extremely fantastic for his first ever time on stage and him and his coach are extremely proud of him so that's kind of all that matters to Brian is that his coach is proud of him his family is proud of him I'm proud of him and what matters to me is that Brian is proud of himself so all is right um with the classic physique open again there were like probably 20 to 25 guys again national level competitors and so it wasn't surprising that Brian kind of didn't place in that class either. But again, he's absolutely fine with where he stood. So he is pumped, he is ready to go. He's actually downstairs right now, getting ready to go back to the gym. Um, today will be his first day back since his competition. It's also his first day back on his reverse diet, um, which if you are competed before, you know that that's kind of a must have, like you, need to properly reverse diet so that you don't like get yourself into a pickle with your um, metabolism and stuff and whatever else. So yeah, it's exciting. He's very excited. He's also already thinking up when he wants to compete again. Um, again, we need to come in more conditioned, less water, less fat. And also his coach wants to put about six more pounds on him, but mostly in the leg. Um, his quads, hammies, and calves do need to be a little bit bigger for the next time that he comes in. So that's that's what he's going to be working on. And me as the wifey, I will just be sitting here cheering him on. So anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this like weird little vlog. I tried to kind of edit things together. I didn't really want to manipulate it too much um, because I didn't really have a whole lot of footage to be honest, but I did want to share it with you guys. If you guys have any questions about bodybuilding or about Brian or um, anything that has to do with this vlog, just leave them down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel down below, and ring the little bell icon if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. I post every Wednesday and every Sunday, so I always have new content for you. So yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!